Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Chef John Morris again, man, presenting to you how to make Aki and Salt with spring rolls. Yeah, man, I hate it. We know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. bully beef, yeah. chicken foot, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Nothing a waste, nothing a dash way. Traditionally, you're used to this as a breakfast item, but today, we're gonna transform that over into appetizer. Finger food settings, man. You know the thing out. Yeah, man. So, without further delay, forward, let me show you what I'm going. So, to start the Aki and Safi spring rolls, we need, of course, some diced tomatoes. I have here some Scotch one peppers sliced, bell peppers, orange, yellow, and red. And I also have some white onions. I have here my selfish which I already boiled and reduce the salt content in it. Now, if you want to learn how to boil and debone your salt fish for cooking, I have a video out so you can click that link above and it will take you right over where we demonstrated step-by-step -step technique of how to boil and debone your salt fish for cooking, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and break these into bite-sized pieces. I have this over a strainer or a sift just to ensure that whatever water content was there all got strained out. Just gonna add that onto a plate because it's already drained and everything, right? And I have here a can of Aki. And pour it into that same sieve that we had the salt fish in earlier. Save and clean up, right? Just gonna run these over some lukewarm water to rinse off the liquid that they were sitting in. So we're gonna saute off our vegetables and toss these in with our salt fish and show you what it looks like. My pan has been heating up for the past five minutes on medium. I'm gonna go in with about three tablespoons of oil. And I'm gonna add all my vegetables immediately to that. So unlike the regular ackee and sawfish, we dice our vegetables very small because when we roll them in the spring roll wrap, we don't want them to burst it and stuff like that, right? We just need a nice neat wrap. Now that's nicely sauteed. Gonna go in now with our salt fish. So we saute that for about two minutes until our onions became translucent and softened, right? Now I'm gonna season to taste with a bit of pepper. About half teaspoon at first. I'm gonna go in with my aki. So one can of aki in. Sprinkle another half teaspoon of pepper over top. So that's all we've seasoned this with pepper and just mix that in, just scoop and let. I don't have any green peppers, so I'm gonna go in with some green onions, right? Give it a bit of color. You know the thing go. Let this cook for about two more minutes and then we're gonna turn our stove off and allow this to cool down. Hold the aki in with everything, right? We're gonna have a little bit of sticking. That's perfectly fine. Because remember, we didn't cook this with a lot of oil like the traditional aki and salt fish. Because we don't want this to be very oily. Because all that oil is gonna soak into our wraps and just break them. So I have that pot at the bottom and a strainer at the top. So whatever liquid is there while it's cooling down. We'll just drain right out because we want to keep this as dry as possible. Alright, to speed up the process, we're going to pop this in the fridge for about 20 minutes and allow it to completely cool. This is pickled from your Escovish fish. If you want to learn how to make this, I have a video out that will teach you in details how I make my Escovish garnish. And I'm going to be using this to make the sauce for the spring rolls. What you want to do first is to remove all your pimento seeds. So most of that vinegar that was there has been absorbed into the vegetables. Right, that's perfectly fine. Going in my blender now, adding all of that vegetable in. So I'm gonna use my favorite plum sauce. So you can choose your favorite plum sauce. I'm gonna go in with half a cup. And your choice of barbecue sauce. I'm gonna go in with about two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Going with about a tablespoon of white wine. Your choice of white wine. I'm just gonna blend this out. Good. 
there's our sauce nice and spicy I can smell all of those spices and you can serve this up nice and cold so we have our Afghan saltfish completely cold also I have here a plate lined with a paper towel just gonna set that aside as well also gonna need a clean damp cloth right we're gonna use this to prevent our spring roll shells from becoming crystallized and easily broken so I'm gonna be using some spring roll pastry these are very thin and easy to go dry so you have to keep these closed in the package until you're ready to use them this is what they look like and they're very flexible and thin they're almost like paper so you have to be very careful with them so this is how you remove it you find that end on one and you just peel it back gently right put your damp cloth right over it that way it will stay hydrated and it won't crystallize on you right also have here one beaten egg we're going to use that to seal off our spring rolls i will need a few more sheets of paper towel to separate the spring rolls when we roll them so two tablespoons of our filling right at the very end we're going to spread that out so we have our filling at the end we just about two inches right there we're going to lift that over and we're going to roll and tuck while you're rolling and tucking it under gently when you're halfway we're going to fold this side here and then this side here ensure that they both meet in the middle like that tuck that under and roll see so gently roll so while you're rolling you squeeze in gently so that it becomes nice and firm when you're almost at the end now get your egg wash scrape the excess off and brush that end and roll and there you have it perfect roll and here's where the excitement comes in for those cheese lovers yeah man let's get a bit of that cheese right on top aki and saltfish with cheese when this melted you taste all the cheese out of aki then no? tell him say no he'll not see again you know? okay so for all the cheese lovers out there this spring roll is for you i have another batch under here so that's why we use the paper towel to separate them so they don't stick so they're all ready to go my oil is already preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit gonna drop these in let them fry until golden brown for about two and a half minutes there about that right we have that fold that you put them to light on the fold like that I had a few that weren't like that Let's see what they look like. Wow! And there you have it. How to prepare Aki and Safi spring rolls here on Morris Stand Cooking It. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And do remember to hit that subscribe button for more amazing videos like these. Until next time, see if travel upon the gravel and go and big up on yourself. See you another dinner for later. But know you fast girl you never tell me Cause I know any any man can feed you So that's why you always take me to the kitchen Yeah yeah yeah